What's up guys, Ryan Cheney ELR. I'm in my backyard. This is a pig's ear. I guess it's the closest thing I could find to a human ear. We're gonna do an experiment today. This is, uh, this is unusual, but I've seen a lot of people talking about the Trump thing that happened a couple weeks ago. Everybody knows. So there's a lot of misinformation, disinformation, and people that have no information and people that think they know what the hell they're talking about. I happen to do, I happen to know what I'm talking about. And so what I've got today is my, let me set this pig ear down. I've got my trusty AR-15 right here. 556, I've got two different loads of ammunition, 77 grain SMK, which is a hollow point bow tail round. Um, and I've also got a 55 grain soft point that is a hunting type round. So. Um, what the misinformation and disinformation is that I keep seeing on the net is that people seem to think that a 5.56 projectile is going to blow an ear off. What they don't realize is for a bullet to expand, it needs hydraulic pressure in front of the bullet. Now that's why when you shoot a piece of cardboard or a, a piece of, uh, you know, a piece of paper, a target, it does not expand because there's no hydraulic pressure in front of the bullet for that to happen. When you shoot a deer, for example, uh, something, something with meat, something that's made out of water, water-based life form, the bullet is going to hit that, hit that hydraulic pressure and expand. Um, the ear is skin and some cartilage. There's no meat there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go down to my 100 yard target down there. I'm gonna set up the pig's ear and I'm gonna put two holes in it. And we're gonna take a look at what kind of expansion you get from both of those types of projectiles fired from 100 yards. I thought about doing it from 130 from the top of my building, but I thought it's 108 out. It's 150 up there. Not gonna happen today. It would have been fun, but uh, not a good idea. So we're just gonna do the 100 yards right here. So I'm gonna head down to the target. We're gonna set it up. I'm gonna leave the GoPro down there. I'm gonna run back up here take two shots. I'll edit out me running the time so you're not sitting here waiting for me. And uh, I'm gonna head down. The, see you in a second. Okay, I'm down at my target slash berm area and I'm gonna set this down. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna set this ear. Let's just give him a piercing right here. That's pretty tough meat. I've never uh, played with a pig ear before. Had to go to the Asian market to get that. Ooh. That should work. Let me put one more in it. Just, eh, that's fine. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna shoot the, the 55 grain first, and I'm just gonna put it like, like right here, and then the 77 grain, I'm gonna put it like right here. So the first shot will be the 55 grain, second shot, 77 grain. I'm gonna leave the camera right here for the close-up action. There we go. All right, be back in a minute. Well, I didn't miss, that's a good thing. All right, so here we go, let's unscrew it. That hit the soft tissue right there. That's the softest tissue. It basically just pierced a hole. Same in the cartilage tissue right here. You can see it didn't and that's way thicker than a human ear too there's more hydraulic here than you're gonna find on a human so the people that are saying 
why didn't it blow his ear off? There's why. And that was with more energy than what happened at 130 yards. That right there was 30 yards closer. That was a 77 grain. That's a 55 grain. It poked a hole. So, share this with the people that are spreading disinformation on the internet. They don't know what the hell they're talking about. And I do. Goodbye.